Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're doing a quick overview of the new V-Jump leak that came out. So shout out to the Reddit for the information. Um, we have some bare minimum translations over here. We don't have any official information. Uh, so we're just going to talk about what was given to us. So uh, shout out over here to uh, DarkZ636 or 363. Wow, there we go. Um, <laughs> for the high quality skin that we got so we're gonna be looking at this over here um and shout out over here to um let's see who is this uh, the trout eight hour tickets because he compiled all of the different translations together into one post at the bottom so actually it's, it's actually zide to, to bane who did that um but anyway yeah so shout out to the reddit guys thank you all for all that information so awesome of you um, here we go. We see Purunga. We get more Purunga missions, which are awesome. Um, this is obviously for Dokkan battles, as you up over here. We're going to scroll down a little bit, and we see all of these units over here. I'm pretty sure this is the Intelligence uh, Android 17 right here. It looks like we have a new item that might be coming. It looks like a Dragon Ball with a little uh, ticket on it or some type of uh, summoning, whatever that might be. Don't know what the heck that actually is, but it looks like it might be a support item. Um, it looks like we have Frieza over here. We have Tr uh, Gotenks. Well, go tanks. We have Goten. We have Trunks. This is the intelligence and the technique. Trunks and Goten. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And it looks like we have, I think this is the tech Bardock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we have all these guys over here. And it looks like we're getting a new Super Saiyan for Goku. So um, apparently, this is going to be a technique Super Saiyan for Goku. Um, he's going to be part of a full power category lead. Uh, no one really knows what the heck that actually means right now. His name is Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4. Um, uh, we don't know if that means it's going to be anyone who has like full power in their name, like Full Power Frieza. Um, I personally think that it's going to be the strongest character uh, per series, like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball maybe, possibly Dragon Ball, and Dragon Ball Super. Each series, whatever, ca every single character is going to have at least one of their strongest variants, and I think that is what's going to be part of this category. Anyway, that's just my speculation on it. Like, Dragon Ball Z, the strongest version of Team Gohan is from the Cell Saga. This is the final Kamehameha version. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, that's going to be his mo pa most powerful. I would also assume that means the LR Gohan would be part of that category. Um, um, the Gotenks, the Super Saiyan Gotenks, it would actually, you know, maybe it's not that because this is the physical Super Saiyan Gotenks and obviously Super Saiyan 3 is more powerful. So I don't know if this actually has to do with uh, being part of the category or not, but um, that's just my speculation. Maybe some of the most powerful versions of themselves, uh, but we'll have to wait and see to see what actually is going on here. It says here, new treasure to get special warriors. You can get up to seven treasures exchangeable for a pool of 77 characters so apparently we're getting um up to seven treasures and you can get up to seven uh, warriors i guess this might be part of, or 77 warriors i guess this might be part of the list then um instead of just talking about the full power over here so that's what we have i think this might be the trade item then that i was looking at before and then these are some of the top tier units that you can get um so that's interesting uh, let's see over here. Uh, July 2018th is Daikoku, which makes WACM of Dokkan big. I don't know what the heck that even means. You must log in every day in July to get um, in, in July to get all the special missions, I guess rewards or something like that, or all the login rewards. Um, a rare item will be useful for breeding a powerful warrior to become immediate and fellow. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means there's going to be a, a special rare item that will allow you to take one character to TUR, uh, you know, from whatever just by using it to train them uh that's actually pretty interesting uh but i don't know if that's an actual thing again it's just speculation fun fact the treasure is based around japanese tradition in summer they put tickets around trees in a way to make wishes so that's what this is going to be so maybe this is just going to be a training item or something like that um, but I'm just really more interested in the Super Saiyan 4 category lead. I wonder what the heck that's going to be. So again, I don't have that information. As soon as we get more information about it, I will definitely let you know. Um, some other fluff over here real quick. It looks like the, um, the JP side is getting the two the two new Vegetas that we just got on Global. Uh, hoorah, I guess, right? <laughs> um, and the JP version is testing out 3.13, which I think is just going to be basic some uh, server maintenance, but it might be some other different things. We'll have to wait and see to find out what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, guys, that's what's going on right now. When I find out more information, when it happens, I'll let you know. Chances are it's not going to come out for at least another two weeks, one to two weeks, because this looks like it's going to be a July-specific thing. But, again, stay tuned and subscribe if you want to find out what's going on. At least I'll be able to bring that information to you. Uh, stay tuned. I will be doing another video for either later on today or for tomorrow. I'm going to be going over the World Tournament. Maybe I'll release it on Thursday, because tomorrow is going to be the weekly grind video. So I'll uh, just stay tuned for that, and I'll definitely have that information out for you. I also plan on doing some more Dragon Ball Legends videos. I've pretty 
much done almost all of my training guides on Dragon Ball Legends to help out some of you who are new to the game and want to know the basics of how to play and how to, you know, do in-game play and stuff like that. I'll do a little bit of a training guide so that way you can find out where to get the um, items, the actual soul items and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm also going to do something about the soul tree because I'm still a little bit confused about the card arts levels and how much they, they uh, increase the levels and whatnot. Uh, so I'll have to go scour the Reddit and any other uh, area that I could do. And obviously I'll give them the credit where the credit is due when I find that out. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I hope you're hyped for the new Super Saiyan 4 Goku that's coming out, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.